Hi, welcome to another Tasty Tuesday on Christie's A Plus Cooking. Today, tea is for taquitas. And the featured recipe is A&W taquitas. Let's get started. When I was growing up in Farmington, New Mexico, they had two A&W restaurants that were very good. One was A&W East and one was A&W West. And they served a very special menu item called taquitas. When I was in high school, I worked there with some of my high school friends, Susan Krieger too, was the first one and we worked there for $1.60 an hour and we learned how to make taquitas and Ray taught us the secret recipe. So I'm gonna share that with you now. I've already, depending on how many you want to make, of course, the original recipe called for 20 pounds of hamburger. I cooked one pound of hamburger. And I have it in my food processor. You'll be interested to know that this food processor I bought in 1985 and it's still running. And I've already browned it and it's cooled off. I'm going to add a cup of cheese and then I'm going to add some spices. The original recipe had one and a half tablespoons of chili powder. Actually it was like two cups of chili powder in the original recipe, but I've um, narrowed it down. One and a half tablespoons of chili powder, one teaspoon of cumin, a half a teaspoon of garlic salt, salt and pepper to taste, and I'm gonna kick it up by putting some dehydrated hatch green chili and red chili pepper flakes in there. I'm gonna put that in the food processor and you grind it. And the main reason that you're gonna grind it is so that it doesn't come out the end when you cook it. I learned that. If you would like your meat more finely chopped than the big chopper did, then you're gonna use a small ninja. I really love it because it does a good job, especially for making pie crust and other things. You're gonna place three tables, about three tablespoons of vegetable oil in the frying pan, heat it up, and then you're gonna cook the tortillas for about three seconds on each side. I've already done that, so now we're ready to roll them. And I'm gonna take about a fourth a cup, loosely packed meat, put it right down the middle and kind of squish it down. And then I'm just gonna roll it. I use a toothpick to keep it closed. And then I'm just gonna put it over here in the pan. And I refrigerate these before I'm gonna cook them. You can either cook them in the oven, or deep fat fry them, or use an air fryer. I am preheating the air fryer to 375 degrees, and I set the timer for eight minutes. And I'm going to cook four of the taquitas at once. When I was making the taquitas, rolling them up, I noticed that I had more hamburger than I needed. So I only made about 10 and that should make at least 12. I'm gonna save the extra meat for a taco salad. Here is today's recipe. I cooked the taquitas for about eight minutes in the air fryer. And if you would like them a little bit crispier, you just cook them a little bit longer. 
They're best served with guacamole, your favorite salsa, and sour cream. If you're enjoying watching my videos, be sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and tell all your family and friends about it. Thanks for watching Tasty Tuesday, and I'll see you next week.